in my last video on phonological awareness, um, I was talking about how important phonological awareness is for laying a foundation. And the reason that it's so important um, is because if you don't have a good foundation of phonological awareness, then you're not going to develop a morphological um, capability. So morphological awareness is an ability to hear sounds within the language, those phonemes, but also to recognize that those phonemes together within the words are morphemes. So those are units of meaning. So teach would be a morpheme and er would be a morpheme because teacher is then a person who teaches. And kids pick up on morphemes when they're really young. Um, they might know that somebody's a faster runner and so you'll hear them apply morphemes to words maybe that it doesn't apply to. Like my daughter used to always say gooder and worser uh, when she was little. And that means that they're really listening, having that phonological awareness of what sounds are, but they're also applying meaning to it. And phonological awareness as a base has to be there for morphological awareness to really take hold um, in upper elementary, middle, and high school. And that's where you see their vocabulary just explode. Um, an example I use in training all the time is the word unicorn, because I'll say, what does the word unicorn mean? And people will say, oh, it's a magical creature with one horn. And they never really figure out that una means one and corn means horn, um, because they look at unicorn as one unit. But if you really are in tune to the pieces of words, those morphemes, those units of meaning, then you'll start to notice unicorn is one horn, cornucopia, horn of plenty. You'll start to notice that that root can be put into other words, which then helps kids to make those transitions um, from one word to the next. Um, another uh, common example I use would be like mort. So if you have mortal, that means, you know, mort means death. Immortal means not death, so you're not going to die. Then you have mortician and mortuary and all those words um, that have that similar meaning, which if you know about mort, you can make that um, connection. But people tend to not jump to mortgage, which actually uh, means death pledge in French. And so if you have a mortgage, you know what I'm talking about. So uh, work on that phonological awareness, get that morphological awareness, um, and have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.